Welcome everybody to That Tracks, the podcast where we track the various times that tracks, racetracks, were used in pop culture. Today, we're focusing on the 2013 film starring Paul Giamatti, Ryan Reynolds, Maya Rudolph, Samuel L. Jackson, Snoop Dogg, and tons of other people, Turbo, which is focused around a snail who gets super speed <laughs> and races in the Indy 500. Nick, Tell us your thoughts on this movie. I never saw Turbo. Oh, it was fun. It was really good. <laughs> the snail inhales some nitrous oxide, and he turns into a turbo snail. Oh, that's fun. I know. Go two hundred thirty miles per hour. I'm really disappointed in myself that I've never seen that. I mean, I'm more disappointed in that than I am with some other movies that I've never seen. So. <laughs> it was fun. It was a fun movie. I think the boys would enjoy that, especially Ethan. I, the spoiler alert. The snail does win. Oh, now I can't watch it. <laughs> well, I mean, I would hope that that's what would happen in Turbo, a movie about a super speed snail. <laughs> Although we, bit, ha Nick. we have to, we have to address some things right now. First of all, we're we're recording via Zoom this week, um, which is apparent and obvious. And also, this background choice was one thousand percent Tim's decision. <laughs> yeah, I was like hoping it, it, for. Where's my finger? Here it is. Uh, you know, it's fall. Oh, you cut your finger looked like a ghost there. Spooky. Yeah, cut off for a second. <laughs> I, I I'm not going to lie. It is giving cozy vibes, but yeah, I'm not we quite have, there. <laughs> like a cup of, a cup of coffee here. It's it is. Bad. It is officially June, which means that we are two months away from the first Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. <laughs> yeah, it's really not so scary. No, it'll be here before we know it. Um, but yeah, we're recording via Zoom this week. Uh, obviously, we we prefer to be in studio together, uh, but sometimes life be like that, and it doesn't work out. So. Right. Yeah, um, it's been a wild week. Yeah, it has. It has truly been a wild week. There's been so much going on. Um, we can get into it. Um, yeah. We've we've had a lot of like theme park experiences, which have been a lot of fun, and we'll talk about those. Um, but I wanted to say, I'm going to kick it off with a high dad suit moment. Okay. I feel like you probably have some solid ones after your ventures this week. But um, I, mine just happened. I was, I'm having boys night tonight. Francie had an event that Ooh. she had to go to. And so um, I just was hanging out with the boys. We watched an old football game on YouTube as we do. <laughs> what? Why? Man, I don't know. It's just okay. what I do sometimes when I miss football. But um, then I made them dinner. We all ate dinner together. And then Ethan said, can we watch Tim Tracker? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so it was cool because we actually sat down and he wanted to watch your SeaWorld video. Um, and so we sat there and watched you and Jackson have like boys day at SeaWorld together. And I just had a moment sitting on the couch with my boys. And I was just like, this is nice. Like, it's so nice to just be able to sit with them and bond with them and just like, I don't watch, know, just, just watch, watch you. a guy <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> no, but with like, I just really appreciate the moments that I get with the two of them. Um, and it was nice. We, we were just chilling. We were hanging out. Nothing crazy was happening. And um, it was just a nice little bonding moment. So I just appreciate my time with them for sure. So I personally had a lot of moments <laughs> yeah. because uh like you said it's summertime so i have the ability to like take jackson with me where i'm going so i got to take him to sea world i got to take him to universal and we got to do a lot of firsts so we had to do um he rode the troller coaster he loved it so exciting he rode infinity falls loved it um those are the two big ones that i like wanted yeah. to mention he so also we... rode um, Minion Blast, and he didn't really understand what was going on. Understandable. It was kind of like chaos everywhere. It, yeah, it's a lot happening. So It was really cool to watch the two of you just have so much fun together. Like, And, and obviously, it, it adds a new element and like dynamic to your vlogging as well, which is something that you probably have to adapt to as well. Yeah. Like, You have to like figure that out as you're vlogging. Like, How is this going to work? Normally, I'm either by myself or Jen is here with me. Um, so I just thought it was so cool to see you like take that on and just, it, it may seem simple to people, but there's a lot that goes into your vlogging. Like there's a lot that you have to capture and you're trying to tell a story 
and you're trying to like bring people along with you but you're also trying to occupy a four-year-old at a theme park and so right. there's it's not like it's not simple it's not simple for people to just take their kids solo to a theme park in general but then when you're adding like vlogging on top of that that's it's a whole other element so i just wanted to give you kudos because i thought it was so cool to watch it happen and just seeing the joy on jackson's face and also your face just made me feel like you two were just like thriving together and it's cool to see him like develop a passion for the theme park space as well you know like he could not like it he could be like yeah this place sucks <laughs> you know right. like and right. that would be sad. that would obviously be very sad but um it's cool it, it seeing the joy on his face as he experienced some of those attractions it was just fun to watch and it was cool to see like that perspective so good job you're a good dad thank you thank you yeah i also what the funny thing was it was pretty easy with jackson because he kind yeah. of like was going with the flow and i also like let him lead a little bit the thing that surprised me was the hardest thing for me personally was lunchtime because i'm used to being able to like spend a short amount of time at lunch yeah like just eat my food and get up and go whereas like a four-year-old takes a long time to eat lunch yeah. it's just the way that it is <laughs> yeah it took us an hour to eat lunch at, at universal and i was like man i did not expect <laughs> to be spending an hour eating lunch yeah this is not this is not and, how the typical day would go yeah but like it was great to eat lunch for an hour and like hang out with him for an hour and he was like we're sitting there looking around we were at minion cafe and we we're looking around at all the minions and like seeing like oh look, that one's only wearing one shoe what happened to the other <laughs> shoe and like I what's this it. minion doing and like that stuff it does and, it like, makes you like it makes you slow down it forces you into a position where you do have to slow down but that also kind of makes you appreciate your surroundings a little bit more as well yeah. Yeah. and just appreciating the moment like we live such busy lives just in general like not even just we as in you and i but i think just people in general live such busy lives and like where are we going like right. what are we what are we rushing around for like obviously the pandemic was a very difficult time and i don't want to like take that away from from anybody like there's it was it was really horrible for a lot of people but I think that one thing, and I think a lot of people would agree with this, is that one thing that happened during it, we all were forced to slow down a little bit for a season there. And in that season, like, I remember feeling like, oh, this is what the family unit is supposed to operate like. Like, at that point, we had Luke with us. Ethan wasn't a, a part of our family yet. Um, but just, like, we got so much family time together. And obviously, yeah. like, you know, that that wasn't, like that didn't last for very long, um, unfortunately, but, uh, and, and also fortunately, like it was good that things were ending and, and things were opening back up for people's livelihoods. But I don't know. It was just, it was definitely like a time where I feel like everybody got to slow down and, and that's, that's good. Like more of that. It's something that I wanted to hold on to. And I don't know that I necessarily do a good job of incorporating that into my life week by week, but. Well, I do have to I, tell you how we spent today. It was pretty oh, great. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Like the original plan was to like go in the pool all day. Yeah. And then we're like, all right, Jackson, you're ready to get in the pool. He's like, no. And I was like, all right, <laughs> cool. Let's hang out. Let's just like went to the grocery store. Nice. And like just, it. just couch surfed. So uh, no, he didn't have a nose. Can't do any of that. Our house <laughs> doesn't happen. Jackson won't let it happen. He's like, let's play Hot Wheels. Go. I love it. Yeah, no, those like, are the best days, though. Just kind of like taking a day to just be as a family at home. It's so nice. We also like decided today that we were going to have like an easy dinner. We're like, let's do an easy dinner. We'll do hot dogs. And then it turned into like a Thanksgiving <laughs> level meal oh, dear. where like <laughs> it was hot dogs, a salad, potato salad, French fries, oh, uh, grilled vegetables, beans. <laughs> You guys have like s'mores. a summer pool party, basically. Yeah, without going in the pool. We, <laughs> yeah. like, it was actually kind of fun because then I tried to get a picture of Jackson doing this, but he was just like, I was cooking the hot dogs. He was sitting on the edge of the pool, just like kicking his feet in the pool and like hanging out. I was like, yeah, this summer the life. Yeah, that's and awesome. today was great, too. Did you go outside? Yeah, I was outside most of the day today. Oh, um, day. So I went to Legoland this morning. They oh, yeah, kicked off. Yeah. 
I was yeah. supposed to go to that, but I yeah. we Oliver has an ear infection right now, so we're, he is coming off of an ear infection. So we are we yeah, stayed yeah. home today. Yeah, for sure, totally understandable. I missed you though. People were like looking at me. Well, someone literally looked at me and they were like, "Where's your bestie?" <laughs> oh, so who are they talking about? You're my best friend. <laughs> oh, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Legoland, I'll just jump into that. Legoland kicked off summer brick party, uh, this morning, uh, today's June 1st. Um, and so we, we did they, today's like when their celebration started and it's like their summer celebration. Um, and it's exciting. It's fun. It, it was a good time. The weather, like you said, it was nice today. Like it was hot still for sure. Like if you stood in the sun for a long period of time, it was very warm. It has been very warm in Florida recently. Yeah. Like like almost earlier un- this week it was heat index of 100 so yeah and and kind of unbearable like we're theme park guys so we go to the parks often and it just it gets difficult <laughs> like it's pretty brutal sometimes yeah. um it, it's not there are moments where it's not the most enjoyable for sure um but anyways today was nice because i think the dew point was lower today so the humidity was yeah. not as strong and there was a nice breeze in the air yeah. today but Legoland's also a pretty hot park. Yeah, it's off uh, it's off Lake Elo- Eloise, so it's like yeah. you get a lot of heat. Yeah, it was pretty warm. But um but yeah, the celebration was fun. There's a lot of fun uh, food that they're offering. Um some really tasty food. I have never had their apple fries before. What? I know, I know, which I still have not had like the original version of their apple fries, but I think I'm going to so save what did that you have? for like the fall. So they had a special version today that had mm-hmm a pineapple and upside down cake at the bottom and then uh vanilla soft serve apple fries and pineapple chunks with whipped cream on top that sounds really good it was tasty yeah you the, gotta the, get the regular ones though i do but i feel like i'm gonna save that for fall like i want it to look like which it will never look like this in florida but like our surroundings right now that's the vibe that i'm going for when i have yeah. apple fries um and then also i um words <laughs> also we're recording this late like it is not our normal recording time it is past 10 p.m so you'll never know what versions of us you're gonna get tonight um yeah but um no the food was very good there was so i don't really eat a lot of pork and a lot of the food actually every savory option was pork either sausage uh pork shoulder it was like, sliced onto a sandwich which was delicious like if when you guys go because i feel like you'll probably end up going this summer when yeah. you guys go, you have to get that sandwich. It's super tasty. Where was it at? Um, the Kickin' Chicken. Am I okay. saying that right? Yeah. 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 Um, Back by the Ford Driving School. Yes. It was so... The the pork was like super smoky. Um, and then it had a... Do you like horseradish? Sometimes. It had a horseradish aioli. It wasn't heavy horseradish flavor. I can do that. Yeah. And then um, a lemon... Like a lemon uh, zest on uh, arugula. Okay. It was so tasty. Like the flavor combo, the there was a French bread and the bread was French bread I feel like can sometimes be a little bit dry. So that was a little bit of a bummer. But everything else, super tasty. Um I'm trying to think of some of the other things. There's a watermelon dole whip with a matcha cone. Um not a huge fan of matcha, but I can okay. see how that would work. It wasn't strong matcha flavor on the cone, but you did get it. It was like it hit later. The flavor did. Um, I enjoyed it. Francie loves watermelon. It's like her favorite fruit. And then she also loves matcha. So she was a fan of the cone for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of some of the other stuff. There was like different tacos, nachos and and tacos that they introduced for the summer. Um, One of the best things we had was like a pina colada shake. Um, Super tasty. So good. Yeah. Did you yeah, go to the extreme show? We did, and that was a blast. The boys like were living their best lives watching that show for sure. That's a good time. Yeah, we had a great time. It was fun. It was warm, but it was fun. And Legoland, you know what? Every time that I've left Legoland, I have been impressed by the details that they put into like their events and their their um like programs that they have. The, the shows are great. The entertainment is is incredible. The energy was super high during the show. There were like action sports taking place like all around you it was hard to even like focus on what to record because it was just like at one moment there were just things happening everywhere which was really cool it was a lot of fun to see um also fun fact about legoland shows they're all developed in-house so yeah like the 
performers, I think, are the ones that are doing it. It was great. They did a yeah. fantastic job. And the one of the highlights was Luke got to meet Shark Suit Guy and yeah. uh, big fan of Shark Suit Guy. So and they gave us they were kind, they gave us like swag being there for media, and they gave us a plush that was uh Shark Suit Guy and Luke will has not let it go. So oh. <laughs> yeah. we have hot dog guy. Oh, That's I cool. love that. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So kudos to Legoland. Just a phenomenal experience. We had so much fun. Um and yeah. It was a great day. It was a great family day for sure. Uh, but it was warm. We came back home and I was tired. I think it's because I've been going to the parks a lot this week and I've just been in the heat so much. Yeah, you're getting acclimated. What? Well, you're turning into the Tim Tracker. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in Florida, so it's not like... Yeah, but you, know, you didn't grow up outside in the heat <laughs> for eight hours a day. Listen, it's true though. Like it does like take its toll on your body and I feel like it compiles like like every other day if you're doing it you start to just like come home and it's almost like your body is tired <laughs> does that make sense yeah yeah it's yeah. like your 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 like muscles are tired <laughs> yeah. the, the heat'll do it it'll take everything out of you but yeah so legoland great day we have a lot more to talk about from this week though do you want to like rewind so i think we left off last episode talking about that like the fact that we were going to go experience the next day uh, Disney dreams that soar at Disney Springs. So I think we should right. start with that. Not that we haven't, we already started with Lego Lamp, but we'll right. jump into so, that. Now. Dreams that soar is a drone show that is at Disney Springs and it's running through September 2nd, 6th, 2nd, September 2nd. Yeah, September and, 2nd. Um, it's awesome. 800 drones, yeah. over 400 feet tall. Yeah. It was like it was really good. The thing that caught me by surprise was the three-dimensional aspect of it yeah so like, we watched it it happened on last friday evening which was francie and i's anniversary so we decided that we were we had booked a boathouse uh dining reservation actually long before we even knew that the drone show was going to debut that day um and so we took the boys with us uh to go have dinner and i was hoping i requested to sit outside and I was hoping that we could like have a view of the show from where we were sitting. As soon as we sat down, I knew that was going to be a problem because they have these like massive awnings at Boathouse. Yeah. Um, and, and they're like, I don't fully understand what they're there for other than maybe they cover boats if they park boats there at night. Um, but the, we sat next to an awning that was definitely going to block the view. Um, but I was able to like walk over and stand in a spot where I wasn't in anybody's way for like five minutes while the show was happening. And it's not a good view. <laughs> like You're too far um, to the Sideways. side. Yeah. yeah. Where you can't figure out. I mean, I could tell just because I had an idea of what was going to be in the show and I could tell based on the colors of what was happening. But Baymax, there's a moment where Baymax shows up. It looked like just like a white you, line. <laughs> just, it was, no, it was when he turned he puts his suit on there's just like red. random red blobs yeah and you can't hear anything like they don't pipe the music into any of those areas so it right. was just like what is happening right yeah now? so you're supposed to watch it from like maria and enzo's over to house of blues like yeah. that's the space that you're supposed to watch it from that's where the, the west show side is. Yeah, yeah the west side that's where the show is happening yeah yeah, and I would say that if you're if you're not in that area, you're not going to have a good view of the show. Right. Um, so and we you can watch it from Saratoga Springs, but like you said, the music's not piped in there. And going back to the three dimensional aspect, it's the inverse of it. So you right. are still seeing somewhat of a three dimensional object, but like just doesn't look quite right because it's three dimensional in the other direction. Yeah, I think if you watch it, you need to watch it from the west side. There's like a waterway. It's, it, there's like a walkway right by the water that you can stand on. Um, and they do like direct you into that area. Now, I haven't been back since the first night. And I know that the talk of the town has been how chaotic it was that first evening. And well, you, you experienced I, that. Yeah, I do want to mention that something that a lot of people didn't mention. There was a medical emergency that happened. So, like, they were trying to get to a person that needed medical assistance, and everybody was just complaining that they couldn't move. 
Right. So I watched your vlog. I didn't realize that until I watched your vlog and they talked about the medical emergency, which makes so much sense as to why it was so blocked off that way. Like that, yeah. of course, like it, they had to, they had to help somebody. And so yeah. and now there were cast members up there yelling, like, turn around, we have a medical emergency, go. And then like the paramedics were trying to push through and everything. Right. So like, and, and also please take into consideration because so I had, I posted a reel um from the show we were able to go to the second showing so our dinner reservation was at eight o'clock we saw the first show sort of from boathouse and then we walked over after our dinner to get a spot for the second show and i'm gonna be honest we got into we got to that area maybe 20 minutes before the show and we were able to find a location we did have friends that were kind of like in the area so we had an idea of where specifically we were walking to uh, but there was space when we got there and so um I I think that the second showing was less for sure than the first one. The first show happens at nine o'clock. The second one's at 1045. Um, and so it's pretty late. 1045 is pretty late for a lot of families, especially with kids. Um, but this was also the first night. Like, that's what I want people to take into consideration. I posted a reel uh, that kind of like went viral. <laughs> it had its viral moment for sure. And I was getting a lot of comments on it saying, like people saying, um, yeah, I saw pictures of the crowds. I think I'll stay home. And I'm like, don't judge that based off the first night. It is the right. first night of a show. This show is running all summer long. It is going to mellow out. It's going to be less intense. I have not well, been This is also yet. a Friday night, too. Exactly. And it was Memorial Day weekend. So, right. like, all, all of these factors made it to what it was that evening, for sure. I think, like, midsummer, it's going to mellow out, for sure. Pick If you're there at Disney for a week, pick a Wednesday night to go watch it at Disney Springs. And I think it is worth it. Like, I yeah. think the show is fantastic. I think it is a perfect addition to Disney Springs. Another, like, a lot of comments that happened on that reel too were just people who were not aware um saying things like oh yeah but it'll cost you a hundred dollars to watch it or something like that and i'm like right. well actually yeah no it doesn't <laughs> yeah totally free and, and like that's fantastic like like literally every part of it is free parking is free walking yes. down there is free you don't have to you spend don't money pay a dime i mean literally like even at city walk and universal you have to pay to park like right. unless you're you know you have a certain annual pass Disney Springs, you don't like everything right. about this experience. Like, pack your sandwiches and go grab a spot. There were a, there's like a grassy area over by House of Blues that a lot of people were sitting on. Pack a picnic blanket, go have dinner, pack your food if you want to, if you're trying to save some money, and watch the show. It is it's fantastic. It's so fun. It's got so many like so many different Disney characters and Disney properties are are in this show. Like you've got old school Disney characters and then you've got newer Disney characters and then you have Disney parks characters. You've got star Wars, you've got Marvel with guardians of the galaxy. Like it's just so good. And it speaks to so many different audiences. So I do have to mention that. I think that that guardians of the galaxy section was too long. I understand. I do think that Disney, like that is the only at Walt Disney world. All we have are the guardians when it comes to Marvel. So I think that like they play that up because it's like, it's what they have. That's what they can work with when it comes to Marvel at, at Walt Disney World. So right. I get it. I do think it dragged on a little bit. Um, I was distracted during that part because I was specifically waiting for the Buzz Lightyear moment because I was filming a reel for work. And so I was. I knew that Buzz Lightyear was coming after the Guardians. And so I kind of like zoned out when the Guardians were happening. But my favorite moment was the Star Wars moment. When that Death Star appears, it is iconic. It is so good. Yeah. But and well, the very first moment that happens in that is the up house shows up and like, yeah. it is, it's, it's, it's a moment like you, yeah. Peter Pan, I think is the first, but up is right. After like that. up is the first three dimensional moment, I guess. Oh I yeah. Yeah. Say. Yeah. And like, it kind of took me by surprise where I was like, oh, that's like it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic. I just, had a, just had a quick like moment where I was like, oh no, the camera's not recording, but because I don't. I forgot that I'm recording it here on the computer because <laughs> we're on Zoom. Yeah. You had a <sighs> panic moment. <laughs> just got real scared. Oh, no. I like heart dropped. Oh no. Yeah. Um we're good. No, I th I think that um I think that 
one of the cool things with the show too is just when the show is starting like watching those drones they have a fun moment where the drones are lit up as they start to like make their way over the water as the show is beginning and it's just it's cool it's so cool i love it i'm i'm proud of disney they did a good job with it and they did a good job honestly like i know that it's it's a way for them to say like oh yeah we can do drones at walt disney world and and they did it before drones start in a couple weeks over at universal and and it was it paid off i think it's really good so i also like that they put out a like a tiktok or like a or instagram reel where they were talking about it and they're like yeah we started out with like 500 drones and then now we're up to what is it like a thousand this was 800 800? this was in the the we call it imagineering yeah where he's like he's like what are we up to now 800 and it's like (laughs) yeah you guys bumped it up to 800 when you saw universal had 600 (laughs) like they're like we got 800 and we are coming out before universal we see your 600 and we'll raise you to 800 i wouldn't be surprised if universal is like Last we added we have 900 more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, <a> thousand <laughs> no it, i'm really excited to see universals too because there's are not just drones they have i think fireworks yeah, and yeah, also pyro and it's a water show mm-hmm. it's gonna be it's like so a combination good. of everything drones water fountain show like bellagio style fountains Ugh, i and cannot wait fireworks like pyro it's gonna be so fun i cannot wait for that um but yeah so Great, great show. Disney Dreams That Soar. If you if you're coming this summer, go check it out. If you live local, go check it out. It's it's worth it. I definitely want to watch it multiple times this summer. I don't want that to be like a one and done. And I hope that it means that we get more in the future. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. Were there any characters you couldn't name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were oh, a couple. Okay. I, I have to go like I've rewatched it. Like I've rewatched videos of it. Um but there was, and I won't be able, it'll be hard to describe the character, but there was a, there was a moment where there was a character that looked like they were wearing a mask. Yeah. Moon girl. Who is she? Oh, she's a Marvel character. She's got a uh, moon girl and dinosaur, a uh, devil dinosaur. Oh, see, I don't know who that is. See, I that's thought... interesting. Cause it, but it's, she's Marvel, she... but she's, uh, it's like an animated cartoon that's on Disney plus. Oh, she looked like a, a character from big hero six. One of the like extras, isn't yeah. Big Hero Six or Baymax like connected to the Marvel Universe or something? Yeah, I mean it's a comic book. Yeah, okay. So, um, which is yeah. interesting, and it's like interesting to see when you mentioned how we are the Guardians of the Galaxy is the only thing that Disney can use. We should mention that's because there is a contract that Universal has that allows them the Marvel, the character rights in perpetuity for theme parks on this side of the Mississippi. So like Universal can use all of these different characters and like sell merch for them and stuff, even though Disney owns them yeah. because they signed a contract in perpetuity. So it's not, it's, it's an interesting thing like that. We can't, Disney owns Marvel, but they can't put Marvel in their theme parks. Mm-hmm. And it's like, it's specific characters. So like the ones that you see at Universal are the ones that Disney can't use. That's why they can use the guardians and they can show moon girl and devil dinosaur and stuff like that. And like, I'm sure that they're going to find other ones. Yeah. So. Yeah. No. And there was another moment that I think a character I couldn't really identify, but I wouldn't be able to tell you. Were they purple? Because I feel like the rug from Aladdin was hard to figure out. I saw that one. I could tell it's a flying carpet, not a rug. It's a rug. (laughs) Same thing. It's a rug and a carpet. Magic magic carpet. Magic rug. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Aladdin was one of my favorite Disney movies growing up but um no it was a character that was sort of red and it looked like they were like looking up and it was when multiple characters were showing up red I don't know. character the yeah. uh the one that took me the longest to see was actually star from uh wish I got I that one like... I got that one pretty quickly but it, it, it was and some of them were a little hard to make out for sure um yeah. but i thought it was great i thought i, I mean yeah fantastic show go see oh it. before we go any further i do want to apologize yes barney was on pbs <laughs> a lot of people were commenting about that <laughs> yeah there was something I mean, else I, that i got wrong i was too. a i was a barney kid growing up i knew my i knew it it was in my it was in my brain in there somewhere i don't remember, I don't remember what, what else thing was that i got wrong but people were yeah. commenting that and one other thing yeah well Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> yeah, you did it. I was incorrect. 
but it's all right. Um, the next day, I went to Universal and got to experience DreamWorks Land, which we won't talk about for a long time because we've talked about that for a while. But um, solid addition. Really enjoyed was, it. I think. What did I do that day? I don't know. <laughs> Great question. <laughs> that was last Saturday. But I went to last DreamWorks Saturday. Land. Yeah, went to DreamWorks Land. Um, I also met up with a friend before that and went to Torchy's Tacos for the first time. Yeah. So so good. Have you been there yet? Uh, I don't know. It's like by where uh, Raising Cane's and White Castle and um, yeah. I don't remember the name of that road. Palm Parkway? A Daryl Carter Jr. Parkway. Oh. <laughs> Not what I was thinking. Anyways, if you have a Torchies near you, I think they have them in Texas as well, but pretty tasty. I went to DreamWorks Land, had a shrimp What day did you go to DreamWorks Land? Saturday. The 25th? 24th? Yeah, 25th. Yep. 25th. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out where I was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't feel like we talked a ton that day, but um, the Swamp Dog was delicious. I really liked yeah. it. I would get that again for sure. Um, and yeah, I don't have a lot to add because we've talked about that already quite a bit. Oh, but my we boys... got our, did we talk about our, our Halloween Horror Nights announcement from that day? Uh, no, we didn't. Cause we, we didn't talk about what was announced that day or I don't think that we talked about what was announced. No, we wouldn't have talked about what was announced on Friday. So you need to go over those things as well. Okay. Cause you predicted last episode we recorded it on Thursday, and you said it, it seems like they're announcing an original house every day, and I think that they did announce a house that Friday as well. The one that they announced was the, the the Latin America one, so we did talk about that one. There was another but, one after that, I thought. Yeah, the Triplets of Terror. <laughs> yeah. You're invited to the Barmy Triplets birthday bash, but beware, they celebrate by recreating their family's murders. Prepare for a gory gathering. That was the other thing. They said, Nick... You don't have to go to Horror Nights. And I do want to say, this is all in good fun. Like, I'm not yeah. going to force Nick to go to Horror no, Nights. If he doesn't well, want to go, he doesn't want to go. No, and, like, nobody could force Nick to do anything. I'm going to do what I want to do, whether, I'm, like, w when I want to do it. If I decide that I want to go to Horror Nights, it's because I made that decision for myself. Now, I've right. never been a person who succumbs to peer pressure, ever. Like, I do what I want to do. Like, I'm a people pleaser, so I will... Please, people. But if it comes down to a decision that I don't, like, feel comfortable with, I'm not doing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I'm still on the fence about it. Well, speaking of Halloween Horror Nights, we'll jump right there. I know we're going in order, but, like, Halloween Horror Nights did this thing that I'm really interested to hear your thoughts on. Okay. So, and I think you maybe sent it to me. But Yeah, I did. They're doing this, this preview thing. So, what they have offered is the day before opening night. So they're offering this thing. It's almost like a, almost like an after hours feel to it where it is the day before opening night. You can go into all the houses. You can see all the scare zones. You can try all the food and it's all you care to eat food. I didn't realize that when you first said that to me. Oh, that's nice. This is like unlimited food. Uh, some of the rides will be open and they're also going to be doing what's called pulsing through the house. So, Pulsing is where they stop the line, create a space, and then they let a small group of people in. And then they stop the line, create a space, and let a small group of people in. As opposed to the typical, you're just following a line of people through a haunted house. Um, now, this event is $350, or if you're an annual pass holder, $325 per person. And it's a limited number of tickets. And here's my issue. On opening night, traditionally, every single year, there are adjustments that need to be made after opening night. So, technically, you're paying extra money to do a test run of these yeah. houses for yeah. them. Find out issues and have them the, give them the ability to adjust, which is typically what team member preview was, which will be happening the night before this event. So it'll be team member preview on Wednesday. Thursday is this special ticketed event. And then Friday's opening night. So you're basically paying money to like. Be a test subject. Be a test of the houses. So See, will they like. Do they not usually. Not... 
work out those like things with team member night? But they try to, but it's just one night. Right. You know? Yeah. They really need people moving through the houses to adjust them. So like yeah. the houses will have a will have changes in them from opening night to like week two to week three. Things yeah. will change. They will add effects, they'll take effects away. They'll like the the lure for that though is that you are going to be able to experience it before anybody else does. Right. But Universal's also doing something else different this year where they are offering the unmasking tours, which are where you can go into the houses without any actors in them, without any of the effects on, with the lights on, and just see the like artistry of the house. <laughs> yeah. um, and those are coming in like long before the event opens. Mm. Like you can do some of them like two weeks before the event starts. I want. I so, think I want to do one of those. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do it with you. They're okay. fun. Well, that's exciting. I mean, yeah. I don't, you're going to try to go, right? Like, you're going to try to get yeah, tickets. Yeah, I'm going to try. Uh, tickets go on sale June 6th. Yeah. What time? Do you remember? No, I don't okay. know whether they announced that, did they? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I just was, that's this week. So I was going to give people a heads up if, if they're listening to this and want to try to get tickets. But yeah, right. June 6th. June 6th is a Friday or a Thursday? <laughs> I should know. That this. is a Thursday. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. All right. So be ready. June 6th, if this is something that you want to do, I guarantee these tickets are going to sell out so quickly. Yeah, because it's a like limited number too. So Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I don't I know mean, how limited. I'm hoping well, it's, like... And it's only one night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, best of luck to everybody. <laughs> yeah. And it's interesting too, because last year what they did was they offered this event that was like a food preview. Oh, so see, you, I would be into that. Yeah, it was awesome. Like there weren't any scary things there. They had yes booths set up with like the look of a specific house yes. or like theme, but there wasn't like scary people there. It Give was just me like you go that. and just like get some food. I want that. Yeah, and it was all you could eat food too. Oh so you could try gosh. all the different food. And they had like <laughs> yes. drink specials and stuff. I think you got a free drink. I think the food is what like lures me into Halloween Horror Nights. Like I want pizza fries. Oh yeah, yeah. It's pizza, pizza skulls. Pizza skulls yeah. are good. All of the food always looks pretty fun. Like it looks iconic. But all right, well, Korean gonna corn keep, dogs. Going to keep an eye out on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I think that's that's what I've got for Universal. I oh no, I did go um on Tuesday. Uh, Islands of Adventure celebrated their 25th anniversary. So I went to that on Tuesday. Um, I am I feel like we could get more from Universal on an anniversary. 25 years is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that's a big deal for a park. Disney obviously does like 40, 35. <laughs> they do like every five years, they have like some special anniversary that they celebrate. Um, and, and usually it involves like a special like park guide and uh, merchandise. And maybe like a ceremony like they did for the 35th at, at um, studios. The studios I, yeah. Yeah. But 25 years to me is a big deal. And they didn't do hardly anything at Islands of Adventure. You get two drinks? Yeah. There were two drinks at um, Mythos for that were like paying homage to Dueling Dragons. Yeah. Um, and then merchandise. And the merchandise is fun. I like it. I like the t-shirt. But Islands of Adventure, growing up, that was one of my favorite theme parks. Hulk was my first coast, upside down coaster. Um, and so, I don't know. I was just kind of bummed. I, I was like, maybe a button that says 25 years or... or at I, least they a don't, park map, but they don't do park maps anymore. Right. They don't do park maps. So that makes sense. But a button, just like a button that says 25 years of Islands of Adventure with like the logo on it or something. I don't know. I felt like there could have been more or food, like specialty food to celebrate 25 years throughout the park. The fact that right. the only special food was at Mythos, which I did eat there. It was but... just a drink. Yeah. I ate there, though, for the first time ever. I had never been there before. Very tasty. I've always been fascinated by the banner that hangs outside where it says, like, world's um, best theme park restaurant. I've Voted I have... by Theme Park Insider. <laughs> like, it's just they made a blog post. Yeah. that said that and then they put a banner up outside of the restaurant <laughs> and it's been up there for a long time yeah yeah now i did i I think it was like six years they had that title by that 
blog post, but <laughs> right. I will say though that the food was delicious. It was very good. You've been there before, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Very tasty. I liked the flavors. I love Greek food, and it was very like Mediterranean um, in there. Um, so I was a big fan. Is there an alarm going off. I don't know. Is that at your house or my house? We don't have an alarm going That's off. Really, I don't. It was like a car alarm outside. Oh no, that's not good. Oh yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was a it was a fun day because we went and rode like the original attractions, which they still have a ton of them there. Um, but we got all wet. We didn't do uh, Dudley do rights because I, I didn't want to get sucked. To. I know, but you I said, was like, I'm gonna wear my Crocs. I know, but I didn't bring them. I forgot my Crocs, and that's what was like. Nope, I'm not walking around in soggy shoes the rest of the day. We did do River Adventure, but you don't really get that wet in River Adventure, which is yeah, okay with me. Unless you're so, sitting in the front row. Yeah. So I was okay with that. It was a win for me. <laughs> but um, did ride Hulk um, and a bunch of the Dr. Seuss attractions. Um, oh, yeah. You told me you saw Nick Lachey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Celebrity sighting. At I'll a be theme honest park. with you. I had to look it up because I didn't know how you spelled Lachey. <laughs> so you were like trying to figure out what I was typing. Yeah. And then I sent you a GIF of Nick Jonas. <laughs> and you didn't say anything about that i well, i just i accepted your humor in that moment <laughs> no it was nice. funny because my friend that i was i was there for work and so my friend that i was with she was we were getting out of oh man the the name escapes me now it's in dr seuss it's the the um trolley that goes above dr I seuss the sky trolley yeah we were getting out of it and i had gotten out very quickly so i just was like on the go like i got out and kept moving my friend was like kind of out of the way no my friend was kind of like struggling to get out of the cart and i didn't realize that so i turned around because i thought she was right behind me and i looked and i was like oh she's taking a minute well nick lachey was standing there waiting for her to get out and kind of like offered his hand to like help her get out of the the ride vehicle and she was so in the zone of trying to get out she's like i've got it and she gets out and she walks over to me and i was like that was Nick Lachey. And I was like, Nick Lachey just offered you his hand to like help you get out of the ride vehicle. And you were like, I'm fine. <laughs> you are like, get away from me, 98 degree man. But it was cool. Like I saw like Vanessa, his wife and I made eye contact and I was like, hey, I was like, big fan. <laughs> Which I mean, I don't know that I'm necessarily a big fan of Nick Lachey or Vanessa Lachey, but they are the host of, um, um, Oh man, that was like a reality show. Yeah, Netflix. Uh, why is my the name is is totally escaping me? We watched like the first two seasons and then we were done. Love is blind. Wow, people were uh, just yeah, people were yelling in that moment. <laughs> but yeah, love is blind. So, anyways, that was cool. It was cool to see a celeb. She was nice. She was she was like thank you, and then that was the end. I didn't ask again for like pictures or anything because they were with their family. So. Mm-hmm. You only ask yeah. one person for pictures. Being respectful. <laughs> and it was the meanest person you could imagine. <laughs> no, I, if they're with the family, then I'm like, no, just let them have their family day. Um, but yeah, so that was fun. It was a good day. <laughs> yeah. One thing uh, I wanted to mention about Universal really quick Yeah, is when I took, me and Jackson went to Universal. We rode DreamWorks Land. He rode the Caterbus or whatever. It's roller coaster. Loved it. Super awesome detail on the troller coaster is the Caterbus has a little booty butt crack. Super <laughs> funny on the back of it. But also, the first time that I went, the uh, Trolls, um, the, the boom box, like, ice cream stand wasn't opened. And it was when me and Jackson went. So there's two flavors. There's the branch one, which is Huckleberry, and it's blue. And then there's the poppy one, which is pink, and it's pink lemonade. Pink lemonade one is much better than the Huckleberry one. Oh yeah, I love the pink lemonade one much more. It's like tangy. Yeah. The the other like one lighter. is Yeah, the other one is just like I don't even know how to describe it. It just tastes like ice cream. Oh, okay. It tastes like <laughs> it's, it's it's like huckleberry. Thick. So what does that mean? It's a berry, a huckleberry. But yeah. You know. But I don't know what like flavor that is. It's like it's hard to explain cuz it's, yeah. it's it's its own flavor, but it is a berry flavor. Right. So it's like a mix between like raspberry and blueberry a little bit. But it's not super fruity and it's not tangy. Like boysenberry, I guess. Boysenberry yeah. is like a hybrid raspberry blueberry, I think. Yeah. Eh, it's okay. I mean, it's not bad, but I would prefer the pink lemonade one for sure. Yeah. It was easier to eat on a hot day. Yeah. 
Absolutely. And that has been lately. So it was actually really funny because Jackson was eating his and it's in a cone and he was like making a mess. It was like dripping all down the side. And he's like, can you wrap this in a napkin for me? So I like wrapped it in a napkin and like I gave it back to him. And then like out of nowhere, a team member was like, here you go. And she handed me like a bowl and a spoon. I was like, oh, okay. Good <laughs> call. Because like, yeah. <laughs> it was already all over his shirt and like all over his face. That team member knew. They must have either been a parent or have had a lot of experience with children. <laughs> no, no. I think that that place is uh, what we call ice cream drop zone. Oh, yeah. We're just like, yeah. ice like... cream has fallen all over the place. <laughs> well, it's, it's like so staining hot. staining everything around there. And... Yeah, but it's so hot. And that, that booth is like right in the middle of DreamWorks land. And so as soon as you get it and start walking away, it starts to melt. So, yeah. yeah. Well, did, did I did I ever uh, did you see my preview of DreamWorks Land? I did with the Shrek um, popsicle. Yeah, no, no, but yes, that. But also, yeah. the booth, the ice cream booth, wasn't open because oh. they realized that the um, there was like a black ledge in between the two windows, and that black ledge was too hot. People oh, was like to get rid of too it. hot to the touch. They had to like they painted it yellow and like put a white top on top of it. Wow, interesting. Yeah, yeah I, that's well. It makes sense. I, I mean, I sat down on a bench in DreamWorks Land, and it was so hot that I couldn't sit there for very long because it was very uncomfortable. So yeah, it's just warm. It's just it's summer in Florida. It is officially here. So yeah. And then I went to um, Magic Kingdom the day that the walls came down at Tiana's Bayou Adventure. The day the walls came down. <laughs> Iconic. Exciting. It is Literally. very exciting. Have you been since then? Not yet. No, no, okay. I'm waiting. Okay. Well, it, it looks phenomenal. And it was testing, and I haven't been there like while they were testing it yet. And it not only was just testing, but like there were imagineers and like other people riding it. So getting to watch like their reactions um was a lot of fun. Uh they were yeah. doing a lot of recording and and stuff like that. It just it looks so good. And I got to see like one animatronic. I'm not gonna I don't want to spoil it, but... Well, I hate to tell you this, but yeah. <laughs> they put out the full POV today on... Literally, why, are they, YouTube why are they doing this? Okay. What do you I mean, think, why? Well, it's the perfect... Uh, why not do it? Yeah, it, it's going to c- get out this week because cast member previews start this week. And so, like, full transparency, Tim and I get to go with a... Actually, a listener. <laughs> we get to, like, attend... A cast member preview, someone was kind enough to invite us uh, to come out. And so we're going to get to ride it, which I'm very excited about. I cannot wait. And I have avoided all of the spoilers. I don't know about oh, you. Uh, I've got to talk about it. Oh, no, you cannot. Oh, man. No, I, I have to talk about one thing <laughs> oh, that has no. driven me crazy. About, not crazy. It's one thing that the Disney community, I just want to get it out there. I don't I don't know. I don't know if I want to hear it. Yeah, it's, it's okay. A, it's, it's, it's a totally spoiler. Fine. You know that it takes place after the movie, right? Right, yeah. So one thing that people were commenting on the Instagram post and on the YouTube video that they're like, I can't believe Dr. Facilia is not on this ride. And I'm like, he's gone. Yeah, he's, he's been the, it's dragged after the movie. to the underworld. But then they were also saying that they're sad that uh, Get Ready or Are You Ready is not oh, the yeah. song that's playing on the way up the last lift hill. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, that's the end of the story. Right. Yeah. You can't <laughs> start the story at the end. What do you, right. what's, what's the rest of the ride? Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yeah. Anything, what are you going to end up in like hell? <laughs> right. No, it's like, are you ready? And then you go over the drop and you're like, oh, there it is. Finale. You did it. <laughs> welcome. What does welcome that final back. scene look like? You're dead. Right? <laughs> like... And so, uh, if anything, that would have been the laughing place. Just throwing that out there, letting you guys know if you guys have an issue and you guys think that Dr. Facilier should have been in there, don't say that you think that they should be playing it on the last lift hill. They should be playing it before going into the laughing place or where the laughing place was. Yeah, so you can get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. So Yeah, I don't have a problem with them not playing that. I'm excited. I think that I have not seen spoilers. I did see, like, it, it, they have really, like, been just putting it all out there and like yeah. i went i opened my instagram and immediately saw like the final scene briefly and i was like no <laughs> and so oh, yeah. like i swiped through and and i didn't get to like see everything but i saw a brief image of it and it was frustrating that i saw it but well um, i think you could figure it out because you saw it with the walls down and you saw the banner that's like welcome to right, right our right. home yeah yeah leading into the finale scene so um yeah. 
but also that there's an original song in there that's yeah. never been heard before. Besides, yeah. it was made specifically for this ride. And and I it's still haven't heard it. Scene. I haven't heard it. Yeah. Yeah. You've all the original spoilers. <laughs> yeah. I, I need to know what to look at when I'm writing it. Yeah. See, I should too, but I don't so know. The interesting thing thing was the POV they put out was a night ride. Did you watch the POV? Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed to know the storyline. It makes sense. The interesting thing, and I could see how this would be a problem, is that with the previous attraction, it was scary. Like, yeah. There were scary elements leading up to the to the big drop, and yeah. like the laughing place was the going to the laughing place was scary, not the actual like place itself, but like right there were it was a scary ride, and like there there were villains coming after you, and yeah. that doesn't happen in Tiana's. But yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there I didn't think is there... conflict, but it's not a scary conflict. Well, the the plot is that we're like we're getting aren't we getting like food somewhere you're for getting, Tiana? You're preparing. Okay. All I right, think the original anymore. plot was that you were supposed to be like out trying to find food. Say less, like, say less, say less. <laughs> it, the the concept now is you're preparing for the feast or the okay. celebration. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I'm excited. So, I'm I'm I I like to experience things for the first time with my eyeballs. And so um, I may miss things in terms of the content that I'm going to put out from that, but that's okay. You won't miss anything. It, they do. Disney does a good job of, of directing drawing your, your eyes. Yeah. Drawing your eyes to the right to. place. Yeah. And so. there are new elements in this ride that will attract your eyes. Ooh, I'm excited. Yeah. Some I did. People have already complained about that, but. Well, I saw, I saw. I don't want to talk about it. Well, we will next week. We will because I don't want confirmations on things either. But next week, what we'll do is we'll we will go into detail on the attraction next week. And I know for a lot of people who listen to this, you don't have the ability to ride it soon. So you want to know more about it. And I totally understand that. We'll talk more about it next week. um, And we'll put like a spoiler warning ahead of that conversation for those that will get to ride it soon that are trying to avoid spoilers. If you make it through this week without getting spoiled like you have fasted on social media because right you just didn't look at your phone ever yeah <laughs> because but there like... is like there's no way once because cast member previews are opening up this week so whether they're cast members or they are content creators that are getting invited by cast members to go with them for the, these previews like right. ourselves um it's going to be out there so right well, here's what happened. So Disney put out this POV on their YouTube channel. Yeah. Every single news site that produces Disney content took that POV and put it on their YouTube channel. Yeah. No, it's like, and not even just like news or YouTube, Instagram reels. There are so many Instagram reels now with people like reusing that footage or and like putting themselves like ahead of it, talking about it. And I'm like... Stop it. <laughs> but honestly, Disney knew that cast member previews were happening this week. I'm sure they anticipated the fact that, like, obviously they planned that people were going to be able to record or take photos. And so they were like, we're going to be the first ones to release the POV of this. And that yep. they did. So kudos to Do them. Do that more, Disney. You're yeah, I, I mean, it makes sense. I just, I have just been bummed because I'm not bummed, but like I've just been living in fear every time I open Instagram because I don't want to get spoiled by anything. So, well, here's a fun fact for you, too. So, there was the official YouTube POV that they put out, but then also the uh, social media team filmed their own POV that happened during the day. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I, I, I saw on Instagram. I, started to see a reel on Instagram where it was the drop. And I was like, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't want that. So the Instagram, the one that's on Instagram is during the day, but the one on YouTube's at night. Oh man. Well, yeah. I'm excited. I cannot wait. That'll be, that'll be this week. And we'll talk more about it next week for sure. Um, yeah, very exciting. Also, I got to go the day that the walls came down. I was invited by my friend, Nick to go to, he's a, okay. a, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. This uh, uh, this friend is a cast member at Epcot, and um, Epcot cast members were specifically invited to do previews of the new Mickey and Friends meet and greet location at Communicore Hall. Um, 
So we were able to do that. We did not get to take pictures outside of Communicore Hall, um, which was a bit of a bummer, which is totally understandable because it's not totally finished yet. So technically it's like backstage area right now, um, but it looks fantastic. And we did get to take photos um, inside of the meet and greet area. So for those of you who have been to Epcot a lot, it's basically the same thing as a uh, character spot that existed before all of the reconstruction at Epcot. Uh, character spot was a meet and greet location where you can meet Mickey, Goofy, and Minnie in that order. And it's the same thing for this location. You get to meet Mickey and then like it's all in one big room. So you see Mickey, you walk over, you see Goofy and you see Minnie and then you're done. But I will say the uh, walls, like walking through that area they the imagineers did such a fantastic job like decorating the area and just putting little like in the graphics they put like little nods to um old epcot which was pretty cool like on the walls you can see Dreamfinder. um you can see the dinosaur from what was the attraction that had dinosaurs at epcot oh uh helen's energy adventure yeah, you get to see one of the dinos from there. You get to see um the old fountain is in the background of one of the on like one of the walls, which was fountain pretty cool. Of nations. Yeah. So just Ooh. cool. It was cool to like they're very subtle. Some of them are subtle, some of them are not. Um, but it's cool to see that kind of stuff. And then um the the meet and greet area just looks really good. It's really well done. The paintings and the backdrop look fantastic. They look like they were hand painted. Um yeah, I was impressed. And that Good whole job. area opens on June 10th. June 10th. And so that's the only part of Communicore Hall that we got to see. We just got walked onto that side of the building and then got walked out. We didn't get to see like the rest of it, but we'll have more to talk about once that all opens as well. So yeah. that'll be that'll be two weeks from now that we'll get to talk about that. But big day at Disney on June 10th um, because Communicore Hall opens 30th anniversary starts um they're, they'll be celebrating 30 years of the Lion King at, at Animal Kingdom. Um, and then Joy starts meeting at Hollywood Studios that day. As oh, well. yeah. So that's going to be a big day. And the, sorry, go ahead, finish. No, no, no. My fault. Sorry. I thought you were done. No, you're, I didn't mean to no, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Go. <laughs> the, uh, I did also want to mention go back to Tiana's Bio Adventure. One of the questions that I had that got answered this week was what happened with the playground? that was underneath the train station and it's not a playground anymore. Now it's just stroller parking. Bummer. Yeah. So yeah, it happens. Well, what are you going to do? Yeah. I'm interested to know if they'll have the photos going during the cast member previews. Probably not. I mean, the photo flash is going off currently. I don't know why they wouldn't have it. Like it's not yeah. a new system. Do you think that that shop will be open for cast member previews then? Ooh. Yeah. Because there's that shop that you, I don't remember what it's called or what it was called. It'll be something different now. But when you're walking out of the queue and it was the shop that you could stop at to get your, your ride photos. So yeah. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. That'll be interesting to see whether that's open or not. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be good. Um, it's going to be a busy week. There's going to be a lot happening. So Tiana's will be, we'll talk about that more next week for sure. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that happened this week. Flower and Garden went away. We had one last visit to Flower and Garden before it. I went before the day it after Flower and Garden closed. But yeah. It it's great. interesting. It feels, it feels kind of nice that there's not a festival at Epcot right now. Yeah. Um, but it is interesting because we've not really had this like flower and garden basically has led up to like, there's been a couple weeks and then food and wine has started right after we don't get food and wine until the end of August now. And so, yeah. um, which I think food and wine, does it start the same day that Halloween horror night starts? Oh man. I want to say that it's pretty close. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a busy time for sure. But, um, yeah, so there's not really a ton going on at Epcot right now, which is... is it starts what, August 29th. Yeah. So that's the... What is August 29th? Is that the a Thursday? Is that the Thursday that that preview thing is happening? I think so, yeah. That's that preview of Halloween Horror Nights. Well, that's going to be a potentially busy day for you if you get tickets. Yeah, 
<laughs> you see a lot they of got, food. You see, they got new food at Docking Bay Seven. I did. I did. I saw this. I, I pollution I, falafel. I'm kind of bummed because I it looks so tasty, but I can't eat. I can't really eat beans anymore. They mess with my stomach. Hmm. And so falafels are made from chickpeas, and I can't eat them, and I can't have hummus. Yeah. Yeah, but they look fantastic. I used to. I, I'm confused though because wasn't there a time where we had falafels? Maybe it wasn't falafels. There was something like that at Docking Bay Seven at one point. Yeah, but it was there with was. Pe- yeah, it was with pita. It was basically a falafel. Yeah. So I don't understand what's different. I know that the, there's like a pink like, what is it that it's served with? Roasted beet hummus. Yeah. And beet tomato cucumber relish topped I... with garlic home sauce i think they just changed a lot of that like Start i don't with a grilled pita yeah it feels like it was very similar to what existed before so yeah and then black spire mousse white chocolate yogan fruit mousse top atop a brownie pistachio brittle served with blue milk sauce pineapple cream and hibiscus sponge topped with a chocolate black spire coin what what do they use for yogan fruit do you um... know no, I have no idea, but there's so many flavors happening with that. Yeah, so yogan fruit is a, a fruit from Star Wars. It's not like a real fruit. <laughs> right. <laughs> so I don't know what they're, what that flavor is. Yeah, there's a lot of flavors happening there, but I'll try it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it sounds good. What day does that start? I think it's there right now. Oh, okay. Cool. It says new dish is coming oh. uh, June 3rd. Sorry. Okay, well, basically. By the time Basically this episode, today. <laughs> truly, I think this episode yeah, when drops. You guys on... listen to this today. It's available. <laughs> There's one other thing that I saw that I wanted to talk about. Oh, fifth anniversary of Galaxy's Edge. That's happening. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is exciting. I can't believe it's been five years. Right. Oh, that's what it was. The Epic Universe Preview Center. Oh right. Yeah, so we that's did in City get... Walk. Yeah, so that used to be the Legacy Store for Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. Over there, sort of near like Hot Dog Hall of Fame, Big Fire Grill, Antihitos, that area. Um, there's a store there that is turning into an Epic Universe Preview Center, and they said that there's gonna they're gonna have like interactive elements with your phone, like augmented oh. reality. Oh, that's exciting! Yeah, it'll be pretty. I'm cool. e- I'm excited. I just I mean I cannot wait for Epic Universe. It's gonna be so much fun. I can't believe we're gonna be like opening a theme park in Orlando. Ugh. Yeah. And that preview a, center is coming this month. Yeah, which is wild that that's going to be available so quickly. Quick yeah. turnaround. Yeah, well. I feel like that I, was all the news. I think There's so, too. There's probably something else that we missed, but... We, we never hit the news button, but I don't think we could. It wouldn't <laughs> have worked. Oh, it doesn't work on to no. this Skype. <laughs> uh, but I do Sad. have it recorded on the on the, the board, so I can put it in. Yeah, that's okay. We did our best. News. <laughs> uh, yeah yeah I don't know I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we needed to cover Evil the Musical is starting at SeaWorld oh yeah that's exciting Yeah, I have not been to SeaWorld in a while but watching your vlog I was like mm, I gotta go back literally yeah. watched it Watched it before we started recording um, it was a good time SeaWorld's fun what was what are like do you have favorite memories at Islands of Adventure well yeah I mean you have some big memories yeah, married there yeah <laughs> but that was a that was an exciting day. Yeah, that, I mean, yeah, that's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Twenty five years within those twenty five years, look at what you started. I did it. <laughs> the uh, we've been featured on things. Somebody yeah. said we are cringe. Oh. We're getting married at <laughs> Islands of Adventure. Whatever. You're allowed to decide what you want to do and and live your life that way. <laughs> it's true. And I did, and I do. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I don't think that there's... Oh, they announced um, the themes, <laughs> because this is a run Disney podcast. They announced the themes for the Disneyland Half Marathon Weekend next January. Um, and they look exciting. Did you see them? No. Okay. There is... The 5K is Groot. The 10K is Ahsoka. Okay. The Half Marathon... This is interesting. Okay, 5K, Groot, half Ahsoka, half marathon, Safari Mickey. What? Yeah. 
<laughs> what's the and the challenge the through is, line the challenge is dumbo i don't know and why is safari mickey at disneyland i have a theory okay this may be far-fetched but disneyland's expanding are we gonna get some sort of safari themed attraction at disneyland no <laughs> i mean we don't it's, we could but like it doesn't that doesn't they could just be having Safari Mickey on the sure, metal. Sure, sure. But why? It makes no sense. Well, why Ahsoka? Well, but I mean, they have a lot of Star why, Wars. Like, why Ahsoka I, and Groot, I guess? Because they have Avengers Campus and they have Galaxy's Edge over there. What do they have pertaining to Safari Mickey at Disneyland? Nothing. Yeah. Maybe there's going to be a parade. It would ma- make sense if it was like Indiana Jones Mickey. But they right. don't have. It's not. They the website Run Disney website website specifically says Safari Mickey. That's so strange. What if? What if? You know, you have doubted me in the past. And so... Oh yeah, no, I'm gonna I'm I'll <laughs> double down on you. You're you're correct. There's gonna be a safari <laughs> ride. There's gonna be animals. I don't think so. Be, I don't be... think that there's enough space for that at Disneyland. But They're like, gonna have uh, an Animal Kingdom. A whole zoo. <laughs> yeah. They're going to have some sort of transportation system to take you into Arizona. <laughs> and there will be another Disney theme park. In the desert. In the desert. I don't think the a Palm Disney Springs theme right park would to... do well what's, in Arizona. What's the name of the place that they're building out there in Palm Springs? Oh, Contino? I don't know. I don't know, I've ne- I don't, I don't know much about living. Palm Springs. That's where the music festivals happen, right? That's where Coachella is. Yeah. I don't know, but that's where yeah. they're building the story storybook living. Oh, oh, right, right, right. The Palm Springs area. Yeah, that's gonna be so expensive. Yeah. Um. Anyways, that, that's fascinating to me. Why Safari Mickey? I don't understand it. Yeah, I'm interested. And then why Dumbo? Well, like, I get that... it that they're there, but like, what what's the connection between these four characters? I think Dumbo is like their that is their challenge. Like that's what they do every year for it's the challenge. Dumbo. Yeah, but I don't understand. I don't. I don't know the connection. Like some sort of hero themed is what I was thinking with Ahsoka and Groot, but Safari Mickey just throws it all off to me. You know what I want them to do? Huh? Here's the thing. Okay, hear me out here. Listening. I do not want to run anymore after I go and do the Halloween stuff at Disneyland. Ever? Ever? Stop. If. There is a Jar Jar medal. I will run again. <laughs> if it's a marathon with a Jar Jar medal, I will run again. Did you see the Jar Jar hats? Did I ever show that to you? Yeah, I saw the Jar Jar hats. Yeah. Did you buy but, one? No, I, I don't need a hat. <laughs> but I, Fra- I Francie, just got to. What? Francie said something the other day. She, we, Your vlog was on in the house. And I think you've said before, like, I only have one hat. And you were wearing a hat, but it wasn't the one hat that you said. And Francie looked and she was like, I thought he only had one hat. <laughs> it was the Age of Extinction hat. She was like, Oh, yeah, that's Jen's hat. That's why. Oh. <laughs> All of the hats in the house are Jen's, except for one of them. <laughs> one is yours. Yeah, Jen has a lot of hats. I have one. I have a but, lot. Well, okay. So I have like a straw hat. I'm going to buy you a hat. I don't need any hats. Stop <laughs> stop offering to buy me stuff. Please don't buy me anything. I like buying things for people. Well, don't that's, that's not, my that's, that's the way that I love language. Express love. What is your love language? <laughs> uh the 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 quality what's it called? Time? No. Words they, like, of affirmation. Tell you, you did good. Yeah, that thing. Really? Yeah. I feel like that's interesting though, because I feel like you have a hard time receiving words of affirmation. Like I feel like yeah. they feel good to you, but you don't know how to handle it. Yeah, well, I don't want to hear them. I... <laughs> but I like hearing them. That's I don't want to put anybody out. What do you mean? Like you don't have to tell me that. I texted you the other night and I said you're a good dad. And you never. I, know, I didn't say anything back. Because <laughs> I'm like I was I was dealing with Oliver with a earache <laughs> and I'm like, like you're like I don't feel like a good dad right now. <laughs> yeah, it's not that I didn't feel like a good dad. I just was like I don't I don't have time for this compliment <laughs> right now. <laughs> I don't have time for kind words. Yeah. Why do we, why are we bad at that? Why are, why are women better at, I'm generalizing here, but why are women at better at like encouraging each other than like men are? I'm not, I'm good at it. <laughs> the patriarchy. It's so stupid. I hate yeah. it. 
it's so dumb like we uh, we have this like stereotype that we have to be like nah just like pat him on the shoulder you're good to go bro you got this but it's like yeah. oh like it's i passed want... down to us from the boomers i hate it <laughs> it's not passed down to me i don't accept that i reject it there you go i text my friends nice and encouraging things well you should sometimes i just want to hear something nice and encouraging back well you're doing a good job is that what that was that was a fishing for compliments no no never oh man no but that's really a good dad (laughs) you just wanted me to tell you that you were a good dad no i'm just kidding that's not no i i was i was thinking about no it was what i was doing was watching your instagram stories and seeing you and jackson hanging out at the parks together and i was like Tim's such a good dad. Well, I'm sorry. Thank you for saying that. <laughs> you but... <don't> apologize. <laughs> no, because I was totally about to move on from it really fast. <laughs> because you feel uncomfortable. No, because you mentioned the Instagram stories, and like I have been going hard at Instagram stories because I got these glasses. Yeah. I'm not wearing them right now, but the meta glasses. Yeah. And I love the picture that comes out of those glasses. It feels like old school Polaroids or like old school Mm. slides of vacation photos where just like everything is candid. Yeah. You have been blowing up your stories with these pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I'll I'll do like, I'll I'll do like, just like spend a day with me. And like, I don't explain anything in the photos. (laughs) I just say like, we're at universal and then just like go 20 random photos. Well, I will say that Hunter told me that he's been watching your stories and has really appreciated them. So good. You're making you're making one person in the world out there really happy with this. Yeah. So good yeah, job. Yeah. Right. I should probably post reels and stuff like that because that's where the the like the content is supposed to be on Instagram right now. That's what yeah. they would want to have. Yeah. But uh the stories are like I don't know. I just like the candidness of these photos that I'm putting up. Yeah, that makes sense. I have there's appreciated no way watching to time them the too. photos, correct. Yeah, I've appreciated watching them too. It's been really cool. And I it's it's encouraging me to go get these glasses. Well, that's not the point of it. No, but I want them now. Like I think yeah. they're so cool and now I want the glasses. A bunch of people have said that they went out and bought them because of my Instagram. You, you hear that Ray Ban? Yeah, you should have had a brand deal. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Missed opportunity. No, I think I might go get them. Treat yeah. myself, you know? Treat yourself. Happy birthday to me. It hasn't been a month yet since my birthday, so I can just treat myself. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be nice to have them. I think they they clearly come in handy, especially being in the theme park space and content creation. So, mm-hmm. But I also like how you skirted away from our conversation very quickly. <laughs> well, no, I said thank you. Yeah. You're a good dad, too. I am fascinated by the fact that your love language is words of affirmation. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Good good to know. I put those things in my tool belt and then I like use them every once in a while to make sure people know that they're loved. That's my goal. That is my my goal on this planet is to make sure that other people know how loved they are. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, there you go. I'm proud of you for that, Nick. <laughs> You're a good person, Nick. <laughs> Whatever. Nick Lachey would have I will say that I, a joke I, if you stop. said one to him. I've gotten to meet a lot of listeners lately at the parks and it just makes my day and i love it because they know that i love to talk and so they come up to me and they're just like let's have a conversation i'm like let's do it and yeah. it's just great i love it so much got to meet a kid the other day named crosby and he was so cool it was so cool getting to talk to him to his mom and the fam and they were having a good time out at the park so shout out to crosby nice to meet you bud there was but, something else that i was going to mention that you said i don't remember what it was now not well, important it's late. <laughs> yeah. This has been fun. It's been a nice little late night hang with Nick and Tim, but um, we should probably go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I got work that I got to do still. Oh, yeah. So do I. <laughs> yep. Um, yep. But we will be back next week. We'll talk all about Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Um, I get to go to a fun media preview this week to go see the first two episodes of the new Star Wars show, Acolyte. Yeah. I- cannot wait base murder mystery it's going to be very interesting i'm I'm excited about that um and yeah i think that's it that's what it was oh. i uh am into the point in uh clone wars where we oh. find out that jar jar is like he's got lovers all over the place 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Do you believe Jar Jar is supposed to be a Sith Lord? A lot Jen of does. Like I don't. No. Uh, I don't think so either. Also, um, there will be a lot of coverage that we'll talk about next week. You know what? I don't know that we'll get to talk about it this week. It'll be coming soon, but there'll be a lot of coverage coming out um, with Lighthouse Point and the crew. Oh, yeah. So we'll stay tuned for that because we will get to all of that coverage at some point. I'm not going to say that it'll for sure be in next week's episode, um, but there will be a lot to talk about with it because a lot of media will be going uh, to Lighthouse Point and we'll be able to see a lot of the stuff. I will get to visit later in the month of June, and I know you guys are going to get to visit at some point as well. So yes, it'll be fun. It'll be good. Soon. Yes. Sooner Dude. than me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, stay tuned. We'll have a lot of fun coming at you. And for Patreon, we'll have a Patreon episode soon. Oh, um, yeah. The last episode that we released was actually like a little mini vlog of me walking around Pixar Place. Um, but stay tuned because we'll have some more Patreon content coming out as well. So appreciate you. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you for... <laughs> Don't steal my life. Thank no, you. No, I was tracking. just trying to trying to lead you on. <laughs> Thank you for tracking with us. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.